Hey guys, wanted to answer a um, classic question we get a lot of times uh, when we're trying to build a new website, right? For a roofing contractor, should they use stock photos from the internet or should they use their own photos, right? Original photos. A lot of times on the homepage, especially of your website, you kind of want to use stock photos. You're leaning towards that because they look nice and bright and they're like, you know, wallpaper quality while the photos you take on your phone, a lot of times maybe you don't have a good stash in there. So the answer, the quick answer to this is that you should use your own photos and here is why, okay? It is not to do with that you can't, it's, it's not only that it's bad for search engine optimization. Like if you take this picture right here, like this guy, like who doesn't know this guy? Like that's another thing, right? I mean, like homeowners can tell when it's like a stock photo that this is, this is not a roofer. Like, you know, this is not, this is not how a great, like you don't look this perfect when you're roofing, right? Things get a little bit more messy. That, that's one side of it all, right? That people just know what things look like. You know, we've seen these photos, They're like in lead generation websites, all of them, they always use the same guy. Like, I wish I could meet this guy. I'd be like, you're famous. Anyways, <laughs> the point is, one is homeowners can tell that this is a stock photo. But other than that, even if you can get away with it, you know, which you can, you know, if you take like a corner of a pick and you change the tint and you add some more, um, 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 like, you know, things on the picture, like let's say a few layers of yellow, like slight that we can't tell, but bots can, um, what will happen is the bot won't be able to tell anymore that this picture was copied from somewhere else on Google. They will think it's a unique picture. You can do all that. But that brings me to the second point. We're moving to a direction, right? It's 2018 now. We're moving to a direction where Google and Google is loving more and more of raw activity. You see that, like, let's say even two years ago, having nice YouTube videos for a roofing contractor was like, you know, uh, cutting edge. But now many contractors make videos almost on a weekly basis, right? So, and Google loves that. It helps their brand. Not only homeowners go to it, but it's it ties everything together because it brings video and um, text and search engines all together in, in, in their whole branding perspective, right? You can find them on websites as well as on video, as well as on social and everything like that. Not going too much in that direction. What I'm trying to get at is that as time progresses, more and more, it's going to be a necessity for your business to be a live, interactive, living thing in the digital world. Instead of just making a website and slapping it on, like it was in 2010 maybe, uh, and maybe you'll do fine. Now, by this time, by 2016, 17 already, um, if you don't have something that's posting constantly, if you're not link building constantly, if you're not getting exposure, press release, things like that constantly, you're and you're in a competitive city, it's more likely that you're going to be taken to, uh, uh, taken over by your competitors who are doing those things. As we go more forward, these things are going to get even more interactive. Posting pictures, um, sharing your blogs, a storm is coming, giving your updates. Um, uh, well, well, how are you getting ready for it? What kind of offers you have for this hailstorm that's coming? These kind of things are becoming more and more in the moment things. And if you have a problem with putting together whatever it takes to get nice photos for your website, then you're also going to have a problem with the trends, right? So I'm trying to address the main root, um, you know, root issue where this question comes from so we can get a, a, a holistic idea. Now, having that all said, going back to the pictures thing, it does not require, in today's world, it doesn't require you to have a camera crew or spend thousands of dollars to get a nice picture. If you have ever taken a still landscape, holding your phone on the side with the new phones, you know, iPhone 7, uh, Samsung Galaxy 8, whatever you're using, right, the latest phones, you'd realize when you upload it to the computer, that thing comes up pretty big and clear. It's not like any more pixelated pictures that we had before. I don't know what people think, what kind of pictures these come up when you take with your phones. But if you're using the latest phones and it's bright outside, it's, you know, prime hours of the day, the picture comes pretty much as good as any DSLR camera. Like I can't tell the difference. I do everything with my phone. I mean, right now I'm, I'm recording this with my uh, computer's camera. That's why it might not come out the best. But if I was to record even this, this um, video right now with my phone camera with just like, you know, while I'm inside the room, it would still come in 1080p. It would still be HD, right? So point is, work your angles, bring your inner photographer out and, you know, uh, put on, a, get your crew, wear some t-shirts and invest in some, you know, good looking t-shirts. Uh, when the next time you're going out to a great, you know, big job, you can put on a show, take some pictures and that is good enough.